Hi, this is Larry Jordan. Let's answer another Final Cut Studio question. <laughs> Bubble Soup Productions. <clears throat> Can Larry go over basic quick and easy color correction for blown out yellow and underexposed footage using the eyedropper and other method methods other than the sliders? Okay, Bubble Soup, here's the, here's the good news and the bad news. If the video is blown out, you're screwed. There's nothing you can do. It's dead. You might as well just bury it because unless you can cover it with B-roll, there's nothing. Once the detail's gone, it cannot be brought back. But if it's yellow or if it's underexposed, that we can help you with. And let me give you, I did a, an hour-long webinar on color correction that walks you through the manual process of color correction. also explains how to read scopes, which I won't have time for here because there's just so many things that we want to talk about. But let me just illustrate one thing. I've got this shot, which is decidedly green. Now we know it's green because we've got a pretty good idea what skin color looks like, and that color is not skin color. We want to color correct it. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to edit this down to the timeline. You put your playhead in the middle of the clip you want to color correct, and you select the clip. You go up to the Effects menu, go down to Video Filters, Color Correction, and apply the Color Corrector 3-Way Filter. It's the only filter I want you to use. The Color Corrector is good for business graphics. The Color Corrector 3-Way Filter is best for photographic images. We select it. Step number three, double-click the clip to load it up into the viewer, and click the Color Corrector 3-Way tab. Step number four, go to Window, Arrange, Color Correction. Window, Arrange, Color Correction. Now we see the Color Corrector filter on the left, the image that we're color correcting in the center, and the scopes on the far right. The short answer is, you look at the contrast first, you look at your black level, your mid-tone gray, and your white level. Because she's got this black vest on, you set your black level first. You always set the black level first. And you don't set it by grabbing a slider and dragging up and down. It's way too big a move. You get way too bad a result. Either use the scroll wheel on your mouse or use these itty-bitty little arrows and you're watching the waveform monitor until the black level sits right on the black level line. Because she's got this white t-shirt on, you want to make sure that nothing in the picture is over 100% on the waveform, because then you get into illegal whites. But you want to make sure that the white level is high enough that the skin tones look correct. And this gets really complex, and I don't have enough time to tell you about it, because it's going to take me 15 minutes to explain how to read the scopes. But the basic rule is that the white levels are never set higher than 100%. And you can tell if your white levels are in trouble by going to the View menu, go down to Range Check, and turn on Excess Luma. Keyboard shortcut is Control-Z. As long as you've got a green check, your white levels are OK. If it's underexposed, you click the White Level command until your white levels come up and your exposure looks correct. But you must not ever, at any time, see that yellow warning. That means your white levels are too hot. So I'm going to bring them down until it goes back to that green checkbox. This is a simplification. Again, I spend more time talking about it in that color correction webinar. Then what you do is you color correct. And you start by color correcting the blacks first. So you click the eyedropper next to where it says blacks, and you click on something which is supposed to be black, and it makes it black. You click the eyedropper on something that's supposed to be white, and you click on it, and it makes it white. And look at where we've gone. We've gone from a pretty uninteresting picture, green, to an interesting picture, color corrected. By color correcting the blacks, by clicking on something black, color correcting the whites, by clicking on something white, and if there was something mid-tone gray in the picture, you'd click on the gray eyedropper and click on something that's mid-tone gray. We don't have anything mid-tone gray, so I can't click on it. We can absolutely do a manual color correction, but not in a two-minute demonstration. That would take a little bit longer, which is where um, that webinar comes in. So that's a really quick answer. If it's overexposed, blown out, it cannot be fixed. If it's underexposed, you pull the white levels up. And if it's a strange color, you use the eyedroppers to click on something gray, something white, or something black. If you don't have anything white, gray, or black in the frame, then you need to watch the webinar, because now we have to do manual color correction on something else. My name 
is Larry Jordan. And thanks for watching.